What do you do if you can't take HRT and you are a perimenopausal or menopausal woman? So you want to focus on the parts of the body that are going to see the most degradation due to loss of hormones. So things like the bones, the brain, the blood vessels, the muscles, and the pelvic floor. These are the five systems that I see the most problems with over time due to loss of hormones. Now, if you've ever talked to me before, you know that I'm a huge fan of HRT and nothing is going to replace it in your diet or your lifestyle, but you can do other things to help keep those organ systems healthy. So that's things like a healthy diet, high protein, high omega-3 fatty acids, high healthy plants and fiber, exercising every day, including both resistance training and high intensity aerobic training, jumping for your bones, sleeping seven to eight hours every night, and minimizing stress. That's like keeping your brain challenged, learn a new language, do Sudoku puzzles. And I highly recommend that you start taking a vaginal estrogen, which is safe for almost any 